Welcome to you, ladies and gentlemen, to wherever you're tuning in and watching us from. My name is Franklin Mireri, and I welcome you to another wonderful episode of EAC GIZ Insights, where we bring to you the various experts behind the cooperation between the East African community and the German Agency for International Cooperation, GIZ. Today, we have a wonderful session lined up for you. We have Timothy Wesonga, who works in the health sector of this EAC GIZ Corporation, specifically in the Pandemic Preparedness Program. Timothy will share with us wonderful insights into how the Pandemic Preparedness Program has been working during this period. Timothy, just to give us an insight, kindly share with us the Pandemic Preparedness Program and what it has been doing specifically in trying to build the capacity of health experts in the region. Welcome, Timothy. Thank you, Franklin. Uh, <clears throat> the support to pandemic preparedness in the EAC uh, project uh, is uh, a, a project uh, uh, that is implemented by GIZ in close collaboration with the East African Community Secretariat and we are based at the East African Community Secretariat in Arusha. And uh, it is conceived as a, as a result of uh, a, a negotiations or an agreement between the East African Community Partner States uh, and uh, Community Secretariat and of course the Secretariat and the German government. We are focusing on contributing to improvement of health in East Africa. And uh, it was agreed because of the East African partner states realized that they have a very high frequency of disease outbreaks in the region. And therefore they requested a support to be able to uh, have capacity, improve capacity build, to improve their capacity to respond to the disease, uh, frequent disease outbreaks. In this regard, uh, uh, three main areas or four main areas. Mainly, the thrust is on um, capacity building, and this has been done through um, undertaking uh, simulations. We have also uh, promoted the issue of uh, One Health. Uh, this is based on the international uh, um, agreed norm that uh, what was realized from the Ebola um, uh, outbreak in West Africa that a holistic approach response to disease outbreaks is much better than uh, if one discipline, let's say health only responding to a pandemic uh, um, uh, disease outbreak. So we as East African community were able, have been able to develop a two weeks course. It's called pandemic preparedness with one health approach. And uh, this curriculum was developed with uh, 12 universities in East Africa and uh, uh, the University of Heidelberg, uh, together, of course, uh, with EPOS Health Management based in uh, Frankfurt. Maybe just to follow up on what you mentioned, uh, we know human mobility is a very important risk factor during these yes. times uh, in the transmission of the coronavirus disease. So my question is, uh, how has the East African community in partnership with the Pandemic Preparedness Program worked to minimize the risk involved with human mobility? The area of focus mainly has been uh, uh, like two or threefold. One is we have been able uh, to contribute to this by capacity building or preparing by capacity building staff or experts in East Africa. The second thing is that we have been able uh, to train people at the airports, which is still ongoing. We have also been able <clears throat> uh, to develop, uh, help develop uh, the regional contingency plan, which is now being used uh, uh, to actually operationalize or respond. At least it's a guiding framework for responding. We have several SOPs. Uh, in addition to that, the, uh, the project has also been able uh, uh, to develop a strategy on risk and crisis communication and uh, the various standard operating procedures. 
this is all aimed at making sure that we get the right information to the uh, to the people so that they can be able to uh, help uh, minimize the spread the training is also being done in different countries so uh, is there a challenge in trying to standardize the curriculum or do you see even because the response in the different countries the ESC has been varied in terms of the pandemic or have you standardized the training regardless of the country you make it standard for each point of uh, cu curriculum execution the curriculum is standardized they will all have to identify practically their hot spots they will have to know go through the various uh, disinfectants and how to be able to mix them for maximum effect the cleaning procedures be it if you have a problem on exactly what to do that is done mainly best and anchored on the who uh, processes thank you very much uh, ladies and gentlemen we have had the honor of having timothy wesonga who is the emergency preparedness and one health advisor at eac giz he has been sharing with us insights into how the east african community and the german agency for international cooperation giz have been collaborating specifically in the health sector during these challenging times of the coronavirus pandemic. Till next time, feel free to send in your questions and opinions using the hashtag EACGIZ Insights. Mr. Timothy, we thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, thank you, Frank. Bye.